There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Motion man is Berrios. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Looking to pass. Tua. Flushed out right. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Bailoa. It's a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Now second and five. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 20. They start on the ground with Elliott. And some room to run now. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now Jones. His throw incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Second and ten. Throwing Jones. And this complete to a man they went against in practice for years, Devontae Parker. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Jones now on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 
And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this down to the 40. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where a play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Second and five. Up the middle, here's Hallian. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Here we go now on first and goal, as they've got it as we resume action. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Back to throw, Jones. And his pass incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Inside give to Elliott, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Running with Elliott, and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. The Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few chicks. Look at this! Middle of the 
field, a breakaway. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Motion man is Berrios. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. From the gun, it's Tua. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They go play action here on first down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Now, how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A couple of Alabama guys here, two at a Waddle for the Miami first. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Chugavailoa, and they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Third and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let the return guy touch it. comes Montgomery now to return it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Jones throw into the... And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So now, I think even our referee is confused. The defense accepted the holding penalty, but they just got the ball on the fumble recovery, so that will be negated. That's a tough one to comprehend. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Yeah. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. New England trotting into place on offense. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. Here now, second and four. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. from the gun. Jones incomplete and we're down to eight seconds now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Back to throw again. They'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's gonna ball his way forward to the 48. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? From just shy of midfield, Jones. Open man down the field is Henry. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. A good pick up there, a 22. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, 
He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 30-yard line. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing again on second down. Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? That is caught inside the five. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. On second down, it's Stevenson. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And this one is right through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Tua sets up to pass it. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Tua. Now he's flushed out left, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because 
They've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. To a completing this to Waddle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Two and now on first down. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Back to the running game with Mostert. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. That time, they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. On second down, Mostert. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. This is third and two, maybe the biggest play in this football game. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Two are going to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Sanders kick is good and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three so they get the three but you wonder now is that going to be enough excellent question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field it's a little tight aren't they if they had scored a touchdown there those would be big half moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position and a touchdown in the other direction all of a sudden they're down Sanders to kick it away. Taken at the goal line.
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, open man, that's Henry. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Here we go. On the draw is Stevenson. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now second and four. Here's Jones. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. To throw is Jones. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here comes second down at five. Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's first down. Tua. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. And out come the Dolphins now. 
And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the... And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Remember, the one timeout still available as they come up first and 10. Now Tua on first and 10. It's Mostert. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Time on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Tie game and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. So it's the Dolphins who are going to get the football first here as we are back underway now in overtime. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. He wasn't able to really get anything going in regulation. Maybe it'll be a little different story here in overtime. And it appears that with that call, they want to establish the run in overtime, try and set the tone for what they're going to get done. And you're right, maybe it didn't work so well in regulation. Overtime could be the charm. And by the way, the yards count either way. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Most of there with a quality gain and paired with head coach Mike McDaniel of Miami. Had his best season as a pro last year, nearly 900 yards in 16 games. Injuries derailed a couple of seasons for him prior, but he has shown that when healthy, he can chase the 1,000-yard mark. First throw of the OT session for Tua. 
Dancing to his left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now a first throw here in overtime. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance. you got to punt it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, <laughs> if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. From the 30 on second down, Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off the bootleg, Jones. That'll be complete to Stevenson. And he will have a Patriots first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in a yard. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. From the 44-yard line, here's second down at a yard. Running left is Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. No surprise to see Stevenson making that type of a play. People know him well. Unsurprised to see him over 1,000 yards this past season. He's a bruiser who was also fourth among backs with 69 catches. He can do it all in the New England offense. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. They run once more with Stevenson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. 
Now Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 26. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call, but when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller, and it's working for them in overtime. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now a timeout called for by the offense. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. From the 20, here's second and four. Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he's down to the 11. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys, poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Still needing ten yards. Now it's third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. So it all rides now on the foot of the kicker, Chad Ryland. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory. And that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we sign off from Miami.